main corridor was an early concept that was in the script, which it started off as like a 40-foot corridor and then stretched to a 60-foot corridor and then Chris Nolan felt that he needed a 100-foot revolving corridor. After we'd determined the methodology for rotating the sets, which was basically suspending the set in these huge rings, Chris Corbould had one of his engineers work with us initially on what size the rings needed to be and how they were going to function because there was uh, an enormous amount of structural steel that needed to be welded and formed months ahead of when the set needed to be built. There was a series of, I think, eight 30-foot diamonds of rings which were all joined together and each one of those rings was rotated using an electric motor via camshafts and drive wheels. The whole thing had to be built to close tolerances because if it was out or if the rings weren't totally round, you know, it would have given us all sorts of problems. It would have created vibrations and bumps. And The, the main thing about it was the accuracy in, in, in actually fabricating the rig. I mean, the idea of using a centrifuge to manipulate gravity. It's been done on various films, most notably Kubrick's 2001. Uh, and I like the idea of repurposing that technology and really trying to, to choreograph an entire fight sequence and camera movement and all the rest. Really do something that could be completely in camera in a way that you know, I hadn't, hadn't seen before. It looks like we're jumping on the ceiling and stuff. In order to actually get it done, I couldn't think of it that way. I had to think of it as, this is the ground. Okay, now this is the ground. Okay, now this is the ground. I remember when I saw the uh, footage from that scene, it, it really is stunning. And we did elect to play it in one shot, simply because our immediate uh, response when you first see the footage is, it just doesn't look possible. It's very clever. So we had to take more care and to not make any mistakes <laughs> in the hotel room. We designed to rotate at six revs per minute, and we got the stunt people in there because of it had a one long side and one short side. Uh, it quickly became apparent that they couldn't get across that. The long side, as it were, at six RPM, they were really struggling, so we had to gear it down. In actual fact, when we do that shot, we speed up and slow down the revolution wherever they are on the rig so if they're going along the long side we slow it down and then when they go across the short side we speed it up so th that was interesting you know, it's a whole testing process really we hope all of you and dave especially enjoyed a little pink floyd to start your day in space floyd is a good way to start the day in space and we do wish you were here good morning As you can see, Mission Specialist Chris Cassidy and Tom Marshford now in their space suits, both the lower torso assembly, which is the legs, and the hard upper torso, the basically the shirt of the space suit with the life support backpack. Here inside the Destiny Laboratory at the robotics workstation, pilot Doug Hurley and Mission Specialist Julie Payette getting ready to begin their robotics work. <laughs> Flight engineer Bob Thirst, meanwhile, is going through an exercise section on the station's exercise bike. Payette and Hurley will be using the station's robotic arm to keep the batteries that the two spacewalkers are going to be installing with an easy... Flight Engineer Mike Barrett and Mission Specialist Dave Wolf waving goodbye to the two spacewalkers for the day. Mission Specialist Chris Casty and Tom Marshburn, they close the hatch between the equipment lock and crew lock portion of the Quest airlock. I'm happy with the feathers, Tom. Yeah, that was a great call. Thank you. All their own motion would be best. And then there's a 
a little better shot of where it was he was working and a better view of what the crew got to see while they were doing this task. And uh, Mike is installing the dummy box here in this in this view. And that was it uh, for EVA two. And try to catch to grasp the tongue of that a ring and pull it off. What play is there you're talking about? Could you please push me against the structure once again? Yes, and proceed this way. Yes, and proceed.